Hey Guitar Buddies, a change from the usual videos. I'm actually taking a look at this curious gadget called a Chord Buddy, okay? I um, saw one online, I was curious about it, and thought, what does it do? Uh, is, it, is it actually any use? And there was also a guy on Twitter kind of promoting them, and I was a bit dubious about his claims as a teaching aid. But I thought, you know, don't knock something till you've tried it. So I bought one on eBay. They're fairly cheap, it's about five pounds. Just to find out what it actually does and is it any use, okay? So basically it screws on, your little screw here. You screw it onto the neck of a guitar. It has to go so that they kind of, it's got some little feet, okay? I'll post a little picture of the feet and the feet towards the front need to kind of sit just behind the third fret, okay? And so you need a kind of standard size guitar or else the other feet will be kind of in the wrong place, okay? So this is a pretty standard guitar, so it fits this guitar. And what you get, if I press that blue button, it depresses the little feet to form a G chord. So it's pushing down on three, two, and you've got three open strings and three on the top string. The yellow button will give you an E minor chord. The green button will give you a C. And the oh, kind of pink button will give you a D. And that's basically it. You've got four chords. You, you know, there's a little bit, you know, if you press a D and then those two together, you'll get a D sus, but you know, it's a little kind of extra chord you could squeeze in there. But you know, if you press the G and the E, you know, you, you don't really get much else other than that. Okay, so that's what it does. You just use one finger and it does kind of on this guitar, it kind of catch the B string. So it kind of makes it sound like a, kind of like a sit out there. You get this kind of nasty B string, okay? So, that's it. Now it does advertise this as a teaching aid. So I'd say, well, you know, your, your chord sequence is uh, one, six, four, five, G, E minus. It's your classic doo-wop sequence. So do -wop -a -doo -wop -a -doo -wop -a -doo so with three or four chords, there are thousands of songs you can play as long as you stick to this key, okay? And don't add any complicated bits. So if you just want to have some fun and maybe you've got limited mobility in your fingers or for whatever reason, and you just want to bash out some songs and sing along, then great, um, don't, don't want to spoil your fun. But personally, and it's just my opinion, so, you know, it's worthless, but it's just what I reckon is that one of the things I loved about learning guitar was the bits where you actually put some practice in and did some hard work and you could play something that you couldn't play before that you were really stuck with and then you sat down and worked on it and you got a bit better and then you think like, I've achieved something. And that's kind of the joy of learning most musical instruments is putting the work in and there aren't really any shortcuts to that. So, while I think it's a tool and it does a certain job and it does it okay, meh, I wouldn't really say that it really helps you in the long run to play guitar. It just helps you to push four buttons and get four chords. Okay, so there you go. So yeah, I think if you're gonna learn guitar, you've got to at some point learn to use both hands together and coordinate those hands. So you might as well do it from the start, okay? And, and just work towards learning. You know, sounds very boring, but the old school traditional way of doing some work and putting in some practice. Anyway, now I know what it does. There you go, I can go and sing some doo-wop. Thanks for watching, buddies.